So this is the grain grinder that I use. It's a Nutramill. This is the hopper where you put the grains in and you can control the coarseness of it. Sorry, it's so dark. And this will be the bowl that I'll be grinding grains in. Hello, hi, and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Cassidy, and around here I really like to focus on anything homemaking and motherhood. Today I'd like to focus on making a basic yeast bread using fresh ground grains, and today I'm going to be using the hard red wheat berries. Now, uh, this is a new recipe to me. I'm going to be using it out of the home ground flour book. Um, I haven't made this before, so you're, it's new to me, and we're going to be doing this together. I did already grind my grains, or as I show a little glimpse of, um, this is hard red wheat berries that I have in bulk in my bin, and I use the Nutri-Grain Mill, Nutri Mill for grinding my grains. It is a stone ground mill, which is better for grains because it doesn't heat up like the metal ones do, do as much, so then you're getting a healthier grind. So I've already collected my ingredients that I'm going to be needing ahead of time. Down in the description you'll find what you'll need for this recipe and the book. I'll link down below as well so you can uh, purchase it if this is something that you like. I'm going to go ahead and um, add the first few in right here in front of you and then I'll move over to the mixer. Um, but I wanted to show you as much as up front as I can before I move over there. And We're going to start with one and a half cups of hot water. You do want hot water for this. And make sure you're using a liquid measuring cup. Uh, there is a difference between a liquid measuring cup and a dry measuring cup. And then we're going to add the oil. Now you're going to add one third cups of oil. Then a third cup honey. I do need, so I'm going to show you this little trick that I learned. If you lightly spray, so lightly coat your measuring spoon with um, cooking oil and it will help your honey come out so smooth. It just, so one third cup, and I'll show you. It just comes pouring out, comes out nice and smooth. I'm just going to incorporate that a little bit. Put that in. Okay, and then we're going to go on to two, ta uh, two teaspoons of salt. I'm going to be using my sea salt, but you can use any salt you prefer. Where's my other one? Teaspoon. One. And then one egg. Okay. And then just kind of mix that up a little bit. Put that to the side. Now I'm going to add three cups of my milled flour. And yes, I will make a mess. Two. Three. And now I'm going to move it over to the mixer so I can mix this up. Lock it in. Close it. When I am mixing the ingredients at first before I start kneading it, I do like to use a paddle on my kitchen. And then I'm gonna grab my yeast and I'm gonna be sprinkling on a tablespoon as it's mixing. And then I'm gonna slowly add the remainder one cup of flour. You don't need to use a KitchenAid mixer, you can totally do this by hand, or if you have a hand mixer, you can also use that as well. I just prefer to use my KitchenAid. I've had it for about 10 years now, and it's served me so great and makes life so much easier in the kitchen. So I really do prefer it. If you can get one, 
you should, but if not, then it's totally doable without. Okay, now I'm going to bring you a little bit closer um, so that you can see what it looks like before I start the knee. And then I'm going to switch it over to my knee. Um, Red is a darker color and consistency. Nice and sticky, but it's like a soft firmness, and that's what you want. And now I'm going to put it back on here, and it's going to knead for five to six minutes. Make sure it's locked. Turn it on a medium low, and I'm just going to let it sit here and knead for five to six minutes, and I will come back and see you in a bit. So I just finished allowing this to knead for five to six minutes. It's closer to the six minutes, and now it's like formed a perfect little ball. I'm going to go ahead and coat this bowl that I'm going to transfer it into so that it can rise. Um, sorry. If you use this from Costco, I'm sure you know this thing has a wild sprayer. It always does that. So now I'm just going to transfer it in here so it can rise. Yeah, it's not going to do it perfectly. Just going to scrape it gently out of the sides. I don't want to mess with it too much. There we go. And there it is. Okay, so now that it's in the bowl, I'm going to cover it with this dish towel and let it rise for an hour. And I'm going to put it in somewhere warm. It's going to let it rise for an hour. Okay, so it's been an hour. It's actually been a little bit more than an hour. I was busy making lunch and it has definitely risen. So I'm going to go ahead and grease up my pan. Now this is made for two um, loaves of bread, but I just make it one for our family because I have this nice giant bread pan. And I'm going to very gently get it out. Kind of elongate it. So it fits nicely in here. You're going to make sure that your pan, I don't know if I mentioned this, you um, want to make sure that you're preheating your oven to 350. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and let it get to temperature and while I wait, clean up this mess. You're going to want to put that in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. If you have a ready read temperature um, gauge, then make sure it's at 190 in the center of the oven. So I've taken out the loaf of bread. I'm going to go ahead and let it cool before I go cut into it. Probably 10 or 15 minutes because you don't want it to break up. And then our family will enjoy it with some soup. It was wonderful baking with you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe um, as much as I enjoyed making it with you. This bread called for hard red wheat berries. Um, I buy them in bulk from Azure Standard. If you're interested, I'll make sure to link it down below so that way you guys can check it out. Um, I hope that you enjoy this recipe. I know my family will. We love fresh bread, especially with some butter. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please hit that like button it does help me out also make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss any videos and ding that bell so it'll notify you when I release any new ones it's been great baking with you happy to have you in my kitchen and as always I hope that you have a blessed day and happy homemaking friends